Hi, and welcome to Lions Maine Coons Cattery Channel. I'm Leslie Moss, and today we are going to be talking about something that is very important that I don't hear talked about a lot in the breeding community. And so today we're gonna we're gonna talk about it for a few minutes, um, and that is keeping our males separate from our females. It's important when breeding when you want to manage a stress-free cattery, and we're going to talk about why that is. Um, not just for cats, but for your breeding program uh, as a whole. Um, I have chickens over here, and they are all starting to come out, so you might see a chicken run by. Um, don't mind them. This is my work uniform. Um, <laughs> so dealing with cats, I don't wear anything really nice because I'm gonna have cat hair all over it. Um, sometimes it'll get messy. So this is what I'm wearing all the time. This is what I'm wearing for the video because we're gonna keep it real. So this is the outdoor catio for the females. So let me take you inside and we'll have a look around. Hello, baby. So that's my chair. We've got a camera here so we can view what's going on in here. We've got their litter box. Um, I've got the tower that um, is, we built, I built. Um, where they can jump up there. So this is the outside catio that's attached through the door. This is the first catio piece of furniture that I ever bought. So number one is reducing stress. Intact males and females become highly stressed when they're in shared space. And that is going to be due to um, hormones, it's going to be due to um, becoming territorial. Cats are very territorial. This stress can lead to behavioral issues, decreased appetite, health problems like urinary tract issues. Let's, let's introduce some of the cats since they're here. This is Apollo. He is my oldest male. This is Caesar. He's my youngest male. See if we can get him to look at the camera. Maybe not. And then Stripes is around here somewhere. Yeah. Number two is unintended pregnancies. Sometimes I'll see breeders who will post and they'll say, oh, we're gonna do a DNA test to figure out who's the daddy. Okay, but why? <laughs> you need to have planned pairings. So what that looks like is when your girls come into heat, you should already have a male that you plan to partner with them for that particular heat cycle. Something that I do is I like to rotate. If I've paired one female with Apollo, I won't, I'll try not to pair her again with Apollo the next time. I'll normally pair her up with stripes and then come back to Apollo for the next cycle. Now, if they don't create pregnancy, um, if I really want that pairing, I'll try it again. But if not, I'll use another male. So when you house your cats together, you risk unplanned pregnancies. You may not know who the dad is. You may also not know when your female got pregnant, and that's really important. Um, when you are planning your life, when you are planning when to expect to have kittens, you need to be able to track their regular gestation. So I have one female who will gestate anywhere from 68 to 70 days. And then I have one who gestates 66 days every time. And so you, you wanna know those things because if the kittens come early, you need to know that and be prepared. Um, so it's really important to know when you pair them up. When, oh my gosh, what's he gonna do? <laughs> He's gonna step on my head. Um, as a breeder, you want it to be intentional and controlled. You don't want to be just, oh, you know, what happens happens and then we'll figure it out later. Um, no, you want to have answers. You want to be informed on what's going on with your, with your cattery. It also allows you to maintain control of your breeding schedule. If you have a graduation one year, you want to say, okay, well, come May, we're going to be possibly going somewhere for graduation. 
we want to be available and not have to have a sitter watch after our kittens. Scheduling your litters around your life is important as well. And you also, it's, it's also good for their health. By controlling the mating, you are controlling the spacing between pregnancies, between litters, and that's gonna be healthier for your cats as well. So number three is that it will ensure healthy development and temperament for your cats. When males start to have this hormonal shift, um, they can become, when they're intact, now I'm not talking about just in general, when they're intact, um, they can become aggressive, um, they will go after the females even when they're not in their heat. Um, so for the safety of your cats, for you know, creating a environment that's going to be conducive to a good temperament, you're going to want to keep your male separate from your females. Um, it also will prevent injury because if you've got a male who is going through hormonal change and now has this desire to mount a female, but there isn't a female in heat because your females don't stay in heat, um, they could injure one of your females or they could get mad at your female because she's not being um, receptive. Oh, he left receptive to his advances. And so he hits her or he attacks her. Um, and I've seen that myself. And number four is going to be marking and spraying. Uh, both males and females can do that when they're intact. Um, when spayed or neutered young, um, which I absolutely support early spay and neuter. You can argue with me in the comments. Um, it will prevent spraying and marking. Um, Females will do that. Let's say they have a silent heat and you don't know and you don't introduce a male and it continues to happen over and over again. Well, they're gonna start marking their territory like peeing on your couch um, because they want to attract a male. Males spray, they spray to announce their presence. Um, they spray to say, this is my spot, this is my territory. Um, come. You see that I have three males in this enclosure and um, this enclosure is rather large. Um, this is one section that we're in and there are three. Um, so there's this section, then there's one that's just about the same size, and then there's one that's double the size, which also has what I call a hot house attached to it um, for the winter. Because our males are um, housed outside um, from six months on. Um, until they are fixed. When they're fixed, we wait a little while and then they're reintroduced into the house. Um, so they don't spray in here. Um, they don't have a desire to, they don't have a need to um, because this is, this is their space um, and they are familiar with each other. They're not threatened by each other. And so there's no reason for them to feel territorial with each other. Male spraying is no joke, okay? You do not want that. Thank you, I'm getting kisses. Um, so that's another reason why you wanna house them separately. My sweet boy. Finally, separate housing promotes safer pregnancies and healthier litters. Um, when I say safer pregnancies, you don't have a male that's trying to come after a pregnant female to try to continue to mate her. Um, when you are breeding, you will mate um, for anywhere from 48 to 72 hours. Um, again, knowing your females is going to determine those which number is best suited for her. Um, but then you take the male away. Um, because at that point she's either pregnant or she's not. Um, but you don't want to over mate and you don't want, because um, cats are only pregnant for 10 weeks. Um, anywhere from 65 to 72 days is average. Um, you don't want to put too many days between the initial mating and the last day of mating because then you're gonna have kittens who are underdeveloped when they're born because they were conceived so much further from the first um, kitten that was conceived. And so you can have preemies. Another thing about safer pregnancies is 
your female is going to be in a better mood. She's not going to feel um, agitated or stressed. She's not going to have a male that she has to deal with. So, um, so there's that. Um, when I talk about healthier litters, um, you won't have a male around when the litter's born. Um, you won't have a male around when the kittens are getting older. Um, an, a, a not too um, pleasant fact, but um, a fact all the same, is that males will actually kill litters in order to bring a female back into heat. And we don't want that. Um, males don't have a paternal instinct. And so they can rough house with kittens when they're too little, um, depending on how long you keep your kittens before you allow them to go to the new homes. Um, a male who's in that house may try to mount a female kitten um, or even a male kitten, and that again can cause injury. Um, they're not people, they don't think about stuff like that. Um, so um, safer environment, healthier litters is um, gonna be our number five. So whether you're managing a small cattery or a large breeding program, maintaining separate spaces for your cats, for your genders, is essential. I hope this video gave you some insight into the world of breeding and maybe you can use some of this information to improve your breeding program. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and you wanna see more, um, please like, and follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, you're always welcome to leave comments letting me know what you want to see next or what you want to see in the future. Have a great day.